Hello everyone and uh, I welcome you all to the fifth class of the post office guide part one beginning from the clause number 51. So in this previous uh, cl previous class we have uh, learned in detail about the delivery mostly about the delivery the method of delivery of an article and in this clause we'll begin from the clause 31. So clause number 51 is about obligation to pay charges. So uh, one, an addressee or any or authorized person. So one must pay all the due amount um, which has been mentioned, uh, which has been made due for that article before taking delivery. Uh, so it is bound to pay all the postage due and then get the article by the addressee. And if any complaint of any overcharge uh, should be made to the post master of the office of delivery to whom the article should be taken before being opened. So before opening the article, if there is any complaint of any overcharge, so the same has to be made to the postmaster of the office of delivery. So this is very, very important. Next one, clause number 52. This one uh, is about the remedy of post office for recovery of charges due. So as we see earlier, um, the addressee or any authorized persons, they have to pay all the postage due or any other sum or custom duty uh, payable uh, on for that article. So if a person after taking delivery uh, of an article on which any postage or any other sum is due, if he refuses to pay the amount marked as due, it will be recovered from him in the same way as the fine imposed under Post Office Act. So what is that uh, the fine imposed? So the post, what will the post office do as per IPO Act, that is Indian Post Office Act, the post office has the further, the power of withholding any article addressed to him. So once the addressee refuses to pay the postage due, um, which has, which uh, the same, uh, the same has to be paid by him, the post office has the powers for withholding any article addressed to him till the payment not being done on India government service. So if, if he does not pay the amount due, the same will be uh, collected from the sender. So the thing is, whenever the addressee uh, refuses, uh, wants the, if there is any postage due on the article, the addressee has to pay. If the addressee refuses to get the article, then the sender has to pay. Even if the sender refuses to get, uh, get the delivery or uh, if he refuses to pay, then the post office has the power of withholding any article. So no more uh, delivery will be given to the addressee Till payment of uh, being done for that uh, customs duty or any other postage due on the government service. So this is very, very important. And then articles maliciously sent and paid. So if any article has been maliciously, that means wantedly sent for the purpose of annoying the person. So he may remit the amount of postage charged amount. He, so he may remit. So he cannot pay. So he may remit the amount of postage charged upon it. So the next one, clause number 54, um, how to make correspondence for different service personnel. So postage due on um, inland letters cards called forces letter and green envelopes are already prepaid. So no recovery will be made, which be at the date stamp of an APO. So uh, letters of kind of forces letter and green envelopes, these kind of articles are uh, already fully prepaid. So in that case, no recovery will be made, which bear the date stamp of the APO, the Army Postal Office. And now coming up to the very, very important part of this PO guide, uh, which is about post boxes. Very, very important. Each and every line in the post boxes and the, the post bag is very important in examination point. So please, um, uh, please listen to this very, very carefully. What is the facility of post box? So an individual or a firm mm -hmm. or any other institution um, can get this uh, facility of uh, post box from any delivery post office by paying a necessary rent and they will give a post box number. So in those post box, all the prepaid, fully prepared, unregistered articles will be kept. So the, the renter can take the delivery. Either he can come in person or to any day any messenger so he can take uh, use that facility of post box and he can take the articles addressed to that post box directly by him so these uh, the kind of facility we call it as post box facility so as i told 
only fully prepaid unregistered articles of letter mail bearing the post box number there should be definitely the post box number should be very clear bearing the post box number will be delivered through the post box what kind of articles can we uh, get delivered through the post box uh, inland cards postcards or any aerograms aerograms means the foreign ilc that we the foreign postcard that we use and the registered newspapers and the books that is all kind of uh, fully prepaid unaccountable unregistered articles can alone can alone be taken delivered through the post box so the articles addressed to another person uh, or firms care of post box will not be delivered so only the renter can enjoy this facility of post box so generally any other person cannot uh, use this facility unless except these four categories very very important uh, this is who can all who can all use other than the renter who can also use this let post box the first one is any legitimate personnel of a firm renting the post box so any um, any legitimate personnel those who accompany uh, of any firm those who take and rent so they can also use the letterbox facility and the next one the family members and guest of the renter so the family members and also if any guest of the renter can also use this facility in case of any institutions uh, the wards uh, the trainees and the people there in that institution or inmates they can also use this post box facility and any casual visitors and the commercial representatives staying with the renter can also um, use this uh, use this uh, use this post box other than the renter i repeat any legitimate personnel uh, of the firm and the family members and the guests can use in case of institution the wards trainees or inmates and the casual visitors and the commercial representatives staying with the renter can also use this facility so this is an example of post box so for every renter a post box number will be given so those who wants to address to this person can write like the name of the addressee uh, post box number so and so and they can write the letter so they will keep all the unaccountable articles in this box uh, a key and lock will be there so uh, for the lock there will be two keys one with the postmaster and the other with the renter so they can come and open the keys um, at any time during the business hours of the office and they can take the articles which has been meant for them so this is called the post box facility hope you all understood the next thing very 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 important what is the rent uh, to avail this post box and post back facility so the rent for uh, uh, the, there are four combos in this so one who wants to uh, generally the rent is for financial year i repeat whether you want the post box or the post bag facility which you are going to see later uh, if you want to avail either the post box or post bag any one separately for the one whole financial financial year then the rent is rupees 150 i repeat the rent is for one financial financial year basis and if you want any one you, if you if you demand any one either post box facility or the post bag facility so then the rent will be rupees 150. So if, if, if one wants either the post box or post bag, any one for seasonal time, for a, if they want, if they require only for some particular time in that, uh, in that year. So whenever one wants that facility for a three calendar months or part thereof, even less than three months. So if you want for one quarter, that is three calendar months or even less than that, then the fee structure, the rent is rupees 50. Okay. So the next uh, the next rent is about if you want both the post box and post back together if for one whole financial year, then the fee is uh, the rent is rupees 250 per financial year. And if you want post box and the post back together for three calendar months, that is for one quarter and even less than that, then the rent is about rupees 80. Uh, do please do do not remember okay at any time you must remember this rent if you want uh, either this or that for one financial year it is 150 and for three months and less than three months 50. if you want both then for one financial year, financial year it is rupees 250 and for three months and less than that it is rupees 80. 
now coming on to the terms and conditions of the post box so, so the renter those who wants uh, this post box facility should um, should uh, follow these uh, uh, instructions given below so uh, the renter can uh, get uh, delivery of articles addressed to even other allied concerns so some uh, some person will also be having one company and he'll, he'll also be there will be some allied uh, concern with for the same person so a renter can get delivery of articles even addressed to that allied concerns through the same post box but on payment of a separate fee he has to pay the separate fee but he can get delivery in the same post box so one for one concern so for allied concern he can get in the same box but only on payment of a separate fee so the next one the registered insured vp articles and money orders will not be delivered at the post box and those kind of all accountable articles will be delivered or paid only through the postman very 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 important so this post box is only for fully prepaid and registered articles like uh, ordinary letters ilcs postcards book packets like such um, so any accountable articles will not be delivered through this post box and those kind of articles will be delivered only through the postman if it is found that no post box in the name of a uh, renter or if the renter ceases to be uh, the renter period is, has been expired then the article will be returned to the sender or remitter or rmo if if it is found that is no letter box or if it is ceases to be the renter then the article will be returned to the sender so whenever an individual uh, who wants to avail this facility will has to make an application to the postmaster concern so the applicant has to uh, should uh, should should uh, give the application along with two witnesses uh, two individual independent witnesses who are not connected with him uh, this is being insisted even until today but this two witnesses will not be insisted in case of any government or any semi government institutions um, if they claim for the post box uh, we need not demand for the two witnesses so generally one application along with two witnesses and these two witnesses need not be insisted for any government or semi governmental organization and if it is any private parties who are personally known to the postmaster so the next one the post office has each and every right to withdraw the post box uh, if it is found that the information furnished by the renter is found to be incorrect or if it is found that the post box has been misused by uh, by the renter for any other purpose so whenever if if there is any these kind of uh, things the post office has every right to withdraw the post box facility if the information is found to be correct or be misused by someone and if a renter is uh, shifting his uh, uh, concern to any other place he should inform the postmaster of uh, the change of address within 7 days in event in the event of failure the post box will be liable to be withdrawn so if the renter is shifting to another place he should inform the same within 7 days and in the event of his failure the post box is liable to be withdrawn and no renter is entitled to demand any particular number or in any particular road situation so a renter cannot demand for this a uh, lucky number or anything like he cannot demand like that uh, i need this particular number like that. so whatever been allotted to him he has to get that same so he cannot demand for any other numbers or in any particular row or position and the rent as a we, we we saw as we saw like 150 50 to 50 80 the rent for renewal renewal after completion of one financial year it has to be renewed for one more year right so the rent for the renewal has to be paid in advance so no refund uh, will be made in respect of uh, the same after allotment of post box so once rent is been paid and a post box been allotted to him um, he can no refund will be made for that rent and if any claim in writing for such refund reaches the postmaster before making such an amount if it is if he wants to get back the rent and he want to cancel uh, before such allotment he may admit such claim but after allotment no refund will be made so on the also one important thing a rent paid for one post box cannot be adjusted against the rent for deposit 
in respect of any other box. So the rent paid for one box is for that only. So the rent paid for one cannot be adjusted for any other post box. And uh, along with the rent, uh, the renter is also um, is also liable to pay a refundable deposit is to be paid on allotment of post box and before the key of the box is made over. So even before handing over the key, we must get a refundable deposit. So in this clause, it has not been mentioned how much refundable deposit should be made. So generally, yes, a, a, a reasonable amount of reasonable deposit has to be collected before handing over the key of the post box. So the, if the key of the lock or lock is lost by the renter or the key of um, lock or a key is not in a working condition, uh, it has to be brought to the notice of postmaster and uh, the cost of both the lock and key has to be bought only by the renter and not by the post office. So it will be adjusted from this, taken from this refundable deposit. So if any key is lost by the renter or uh, if it is not in the working condition, it has to be brought to the notice of the uh, postmaster and uh, the cost of both the lock and key uh, shall be forfeited. If the lock and key is not surrendered within 15 days after the expiry of the rental period, the depositor will be forfeited and uh, uh, from this it will be adjusted. And uh, if the renter surrenders the lock and key within 15 days of expiry of the rental period, he may be granted a refund of the portion of the deposit representing the cost of loss and key. So if the renter surrenders everything in perfect, so any other thing which has to be recovered can be recovered and the refundable deposit can be returned to the person. And no application for uh, renewal uh, for rental of post boxes is entertained unless it reaches the postmaster before expiry of that period. So if uh, I told that it, it is for financial year. So if you, if you are paying a rent, it will be from April to March. So 31.3 is the last date, right, for expiry. So uh, they are giving a grace period of 15 days. So if the rent period expires by 31st March, within 15 days after the expiry, that is, Within 15th of April, the application for renewal has to be made. So application for renewal of postmark has to be made. If it is not, then the rental period has, will be ceased. And then a belated application provided for a particular letter box uh, will not be entertained. And uh, if, if we receive any belated application, then the same post box will be provided if it is still available. Uh, if, if we receive any belated application, uh, then we will give the same only if the same post box is still available. If not available, his application will be considered as a fresh one and any uh, some other post box will be allotted for him. And uh, this is very important. Uh, what is the period of commencement of the period of rental of a post box? Whenever you pay the rent, the period of commencement uh, will begin from the first day of the month. So for, for example, if today you are paying uh, the rent, then the period of rental will begin from the first day of the month. Okay. And the renewal comes from the first day of the month, immediately succeed the previous rental. And that is for, a, for any normal rent, uh, it will begin from the first day of the month of this month. But uh, in respect of renewal, after completion of period of the previous rental, that is after 31st March, it will commence from the first day of the next month. That is from 1-4. It will begin. And um, it is not necessarily required that only the renter has to come and clear the, the boxes. He may also send a messenger. So for this purpose, uh, post office will give a delivery ticket. A delivery ticket will be given for the renter. So the ticket bears the same number. Um, as that of post box. So the messenger who is coming to clear the letter box, he will show uh, the delivery ticket as an identity um, and then he can clear the post box. So for that, for this purpose, a delivery ticket will also be uh, provided by the post office. And uh, I told earlier, uh, the post box can be cleared at any time uh, in the post office during the business hours, during the business hours. And um, the renter will not have any right uh, to get delivery through post box of any article addressed to post box number. So if there is no post box 
being rented by him, the renter cannot claim the right to get delivery through the post box one. And if any article uh, could not be placed inside the post box due to oversize, uh, even um, in the last class we have seen that due to oversize, if an article could not be dropped in the post box, we can uh, hand, over, hand over the same to the counter um, through a window to the counter. Likewise, if any article could not be placed in the post box due to oversize, then the postmaster will arrange to give any intimation slip about that article and it will be kept in the delivery department and it will be handed over to the um, messenger or the renter by hand. And uh, if uh, in case of any loss of key, until uh, restoration of the new lock and new key, uh, in the meantime, the articles will be delivered at the counter. Um, if, uh, if it is found that the post box is not being cleared even after a week, a notice will be issued uh, through registered post that uh, this article is not is being kept aside and no, no clearance is being done. And uh, even after this notice, if it is not clear, then they will be delivered. Uh, then we can send the postman to deliver the same through the postman. Failure to clear the letterbox and uh, too often, uh, very often will amount to the misuse of letterbox and the post uh, post uh, office can withdraw the post box from such persons. So each and every line is important in this post box. The conditions, the terms and every each and every condition is very, very important in terms of the post boxes. So similarly, uh, the po I told that post box uh, will be available in some delivery post offices, right? Um, wherever, whichever office which do not provide the post box facility will give this facility of post bags. So, so post bag facility will be available at all the delivery post offices. Post box facility will be available at bigger offices, bigger units, like not, but not at all the offices. But this uh, facility can be is available at all the delivery post offices. Whether the post box system is available or not, this facility will be there. So what is this concept? In this post bag facility, the renter, the renter, the address, he will, uh, he will give a bag, a post bag at his own cost and also the lock and key that will also be supplied by the renter. So uh, the renter will supply a bag and also a lock and a key. So there will be two keys for that, uh, uh, for that lock. So what, what the postmaster has to do? So the postman, postmaster has to open the bag. He has to put up, put in all the fully prepaid, unregistered articles meant for him, and he will lock the bag. So and hand over it the same to any messenger. So this messenger will take the post bag and he will hand it over to the renter. The renter with another key that he have, he will open uh, open the bag and he will take back all the delivery of the articles. So this concept we call it as post bag what are all the provisions the conditions the terms and conditions which we discussed earlier in the post box facility will apply mutatis mutatis that is the same the same uh, terms and conditions will also apply for the post bags uh, so the lock post bags with the articles placed inside will be handed over to the counter on production of delivery ticket i, I told no delivery ticket is order is given in order to identify that uh, he is the pure messenger which has been sent by the renter. So during the hours prescribed. So these bags in combination is box box uh, may also be used for fully prepaid and registered articles, cards, news and packets for posting. So this is all about a uh, very important topic of the post boxes and post bag. So with this, I'm ending up this session with the post back facility and we will see the rest of the clauses. So thank you all. Thank you so much.